on a small scale miner in Tanzania has become an overnight millionaire after selling two rough Tanzanite stones, the biggest ever find in the country. Jacinta Viku takes a look at this big feat achiever and the implications for Africa to look inward for their sustenance. Mining has a long history in Africa. In North Africa, people have mined for iron, ores, and other metals for more than 2,000 years. Gemstones are precious or semi-precious stone, especially one caught, polished, and using a piece of jewelry, was given the name Tanzanite after Tanzania, the country in which it was discovered. In 1990, the Tanzanian government split the Tanzanite mines into four sections, blocks A, B, C, and D. Block A and C were awarded to large operators, while blocks B and D were reserved for the local miners. In June 2003, the Tanzanian government introduced legislation banning the export of unprocessed Tanzanite to India. The reason for the ban is to attempt to spur development of local processing facilities, thereby boosting the economy and recouping profits. Following the constructions of a 24-parameter wall around the mines to improve security and prevent smuggling, production rose from 147.7 kilograms in 2018 to a record of 781.2 kilograms in 2019. On 24th of June 2020, a new record for the world's largest rough Tanzanite was set after a small-scale miner, Saninu Laser, mined two stones of 9.72 kilograms and 5.1 kilograms and sold them to the government of Tanzania through Ministry of Mining for 7.74 billion Tanzanian shillings, valued at $3.4 million, surpassing the record of 16,839 carat stone mined by Tanzanite One in 2005. <laughs> kwa taratibu sisi ni wakulima tunalima mashamba tunalima maharage kwa ajili ya kufanya kazi zao na tumechagua hiyo na mimi mwenyewe baba yangu anamwambia sasa ile elfu nimewachiwa hizo nikaziendeleza kwa hiyo na alafu mimi ni msaliwa wa hapa after his June sale of two rocks, Laser, a father of more than 30 children, expressed he would hold a party. As well, the money would be used to build a school and health facilities in his community. Laser urged his fellow small scale miners to work with the government, saying that his experience was a good example.